Digitalization, the pandemic, and fintech innovations have made net and phone banking more prominent. But with this rise in innovation, there wasn't a consequent rise in financial literacy leading to financial fraud. Online dhoka dadi ke baad insaaf ke liye bhatak rahe hain. Jhan se mein aaye logo ne ab tak karib 250 crore rupee gawa diye. आपको क्या बताओ हम बहुत दुखी है हम लोग मेरे को ना कोई कभी से कितना दिन से फोन कर रहा है और बोल रहा है ओ टी पी ओ टी पी नंबर दो ओ टी पी नंबर दो मगर क्या करें ओ टी पी नंबर तो दे दिया हम लोग ने इतना मेहनत से पैसा कमाया था ओ टी पी नंबर लेके उनने उन बैंक में क्या किया पता नहीं हम बैंक में गए और देखा तो ओ टी पी लेके वो लेके गया लेकिन बैंक का पैसा भी हमारा खत्म हो गया अभी हम कैसे करेंगे इतना मेहनत से जो पैसा कमाया था लेकिन वो तो गया ना अकॉर्डिंग टू द आर बी आई एनुअल रिपोर्ट बैंक फ्रॉड मोर देन डबल इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अमाउंटिंग टू रुपीज वन पॉइंट एट फाइव ट्रिलियन कार्ड एंड इंटरनेट फ्रॉड्स है amounting to rupees 195 crores in the year 2019-20 from rupees 71 crores in the previous year according to the report published by sebi 76% of the indian adult population is financially illiterate according to the report published by times of india dated march 2020 in 92 days india lost rupees 128 crores in card and other online frauds real financial inclusion is when every member of the society is able to digitally transact securely and reap the benefits of a growing digital economy our dream is to enable every citizen of the country to become digitally literate and access the benefits of government schemes and in the process help them change their dreams to reality we, we are in actus nm presenting, presenting project kavach The fundamental problem lies in the fact that India is transitioning into a digital economy and not everyone is able to adapt to it. Financial illiteracy and lack of proper knowledge is being taken advantage of by financial malpractices that like scamming people online. This trend has not only been noticed in India but has been emerging worldwide. Therefore, it is imperative for us to facilitate such knowledge distribution at the grassroots level itself so as to build a stronger front against such scams. We thereby aim to build a community that can safely and effectively leverage the benefits of India's digitalized economy. Our project's action plan is divided into three multifold phases. Phase one aims at providing information and guidance to lower middle class and poorer sections of the society, those who are not aware of how to safeguard themselves against financial frauds. the medium of which would be the formation of area specific communication channels these communication channels would be facilitated by the local ngo and would be coordinated and managed by our team the plan is to tie up with edtech platforms banks sebi and cyber crime officials to disseminate necessary information in the form of short specific videos posters and pamphlets in regional languages for easy understanding of the target groups These tie-ups would ensure credibility and also mutual benefits for both parties. Phase 2 aims at making people aware of the various government schemes and explaining them in a simplified manner through the previously established communication channel. Also, depending upon the ongoing situation, we shall proceed with conducting area-wide campaigns. Phase 3 would aim at leveraging the new established communication channels. Taking a step forward, we would help this community be at pace with the ongoing digitalization and other economically relevant developments of the country. The revenue model for our project is far from the traditional business models. We aim to focus on the financial concept that states saving cost and losses is equal to income. In a world where financial fraud occurs for over 2 lakh crore rupees, we aim to bring a change and bring this number down gradually out of the frauds taking place in maharashtra we aim to reduce it by 20% in the first phase itself we have seen sustainable solutions tackle the toughest problems of the world we aim to focus on partnership for the goals decent work and economic growth sustainable cities and communities no poverty and quality education leadership persistence entrepreneurship talent commitment and innovation that's what an active nm is made of